G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean, and on today's episode, we're gonna build an enclosure to keep the chickens out of our garden. So we've got a number of chickens and they're fantastic for the garden and we let them free range around the property all the time. But the one thing bad about them is if you're trying to plant new plants, they'll just dig them up and then basically the plants won't grow. So in this garden behind me, we've got some fruit trees that are well established, but there's a lot of other plants that my wife wants to get growing. So we can't just plant them in the ground, otherwise the chickens will just destroy them. So we need to build an enclosure around here. And I'm gonna use some of the old fencing material I had for when we did the fence, and there's a series on my YouTube channel on it. Some will be constructed similar, but a, a bit easier construction really. Most of it will just be posts in the ground, and then we'll just run the chicken wire around it. But up here where I'm gonna install the gate, I've got a rectangular post, and that was basically just so that it'll be easy to, to, to attach hinges to. And I'm just gonna put same sort of idea where I'll have two posts close by and a top rail on them just to try and give a bit more support um, for the weight of the gate hanging off it but otherwise then it's just installing posts and running the chicken wire so we'll mark out the first one which will be the one the gate hangs off and then we'll do the one over there top rail and sort of expand from there uh, so I'm going to use my Ryobi planting and digging tool again I use this for putting in every post around here. Uh, I've done a couple of reviews on it, so if you want to have a look at that, they're on my channel as well. I've always enjoyed it, found it so much easier than digging by hand. So we'll dig a few more holes with it. While I'm waiting for a battery to charge so I can keep drilling some holes, what I might do is organize and put my top rail on here. So what I'm thinking of doing, and still making this up a little bit, I suppose, but sit that one up on top there. And then we have two options. One is just to cut this off at the right height, which I think I will actually do because there's not cutting a lot off. Uh, I'll get my level and we'll mark this up, cut it off. And then we need to trim this down to the right size as well. Ah, that'll work. Okay, so. Mark my line of where the top is. Double check that this is level because it doesn't feel like it, but a level tells me it is. All right, so I need to cut this off here. 
I need to grab my circular saw and cut this off. And then I need to notch out the bit that will sit on top. So this post is 75 mil thick this way and 100 mil this way. Hoping my circular saw will cut that in one go. All right, let's uh, cut some of this stuff up. So I made this jig when we were uh, doing the whole fence and it's an easy way to keep notching out this timber uh, for the top rails. So uh, I've got it set up here, we'll just organize the circular saw, make sure we're at the right depth and uh, yeah, cut this off. Well, we've now got all the posts in, so I'm going to put the top rails on. So we cut this one earlier, and so I'll just sit him up here, and then we can drill and screw it as well. normally for use on doors and they'll close up on themselves basically so one will go on your door frame and one will go on your door and it's going to work okay for the gate should do but i'm still working that out all right did you ask the supervisors what do you girls think i don't think they're happy with it i think they said don't put the fence up because it's going to lock them up <laughs> Is that what you think? Too late, overruled. So because we've got this beam or piece of timber at the back of the gate, I'm going to drill the top two holes through that and the, the screws will go into that and then I'm going to have to find a slightly shorter screw because the third one won't go through that and otherwise it'll poke out the back, which I don't want to do. But we'll pre-drill these top two holes, put a couple of screws in there. Chickens out as long as they don't dig under, they won't get through the gap. Gap's a bit bigger than what I thought it would be. Yeah, she's okay. not that skinny.
Voila. What is that picket? What's that nifty thing you're using? It's called a star picket driver. You buy them like that? Yeah. Looks heavy. Very heavy. But a very good tool to use to put star pickets in. So do what I did. Buy one second hand. There's always people sick of having it in their shed probably. But... Looks better than trying to use a hammer. Yeah, been there, done that. Don't do that again. <laughs> Hey guys, well it's a new day. So yesterday we got all our fence posts in and we put the star pickets in late. Today we're gonna to finish off this sort of temporary fencing by running out the chicken wire. So I'm just gonna use the staples in the, what is this, a brad nailer I think they call it. But staples in it will hold the chicken wire on all the way around, so we'll just staple that on. Oh, I've got my wife gonna give me a hand to roll this out and hopefully put a little bit of tension on it and all going well keep some chickens out of our garden so these are the staples we'll use they will hold this chicken wire fine So there we go guys, there's our temporary fence to keep the chickens out. We've got the gate reattached or rehung, and just using a piece of rope hooked over here at the moment because I just couldn't find any other catches that I've got. So I'll have to buy something that we can use to catch and hold the gate shut properly. For the time being this is going to work, at least it should keep the chickens out. And my wife's very happy because she can now plant some other plants so that'll be good too. And they're going to grow without being attacked by the chickens <laughs> all in all quite a good little project wasn't sure how we we're going to go attaching this wire but uh, using those staples from that brad nailing gun that uh, worked really well biggest issue i had was actually in this hardwood post i had to really uh, crank up the pressure a bit more just to drive them in there but overall yeah it worked out well but that's all we have in this episode so thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button. That'd be awesome. And we'll catch you next time. God bless.